reason I'm not kicking you out today is it looks like you're trying. I'm trying hard. And it's okay, hard. but here's the deal. Digging for diamonds at the Crater of Diamond State Park. That's right, a state park. That's some good stuff. Nice and yellow. Extra crunchy. Pulled some jasper out. We're going to see if it's going to bleach out. So far, it's not bleaching. That's a good indicator. There's a yellow container somewhere in this area. The Crater of Diamonds has it marked down on the map to where you can go look for those containers in certain areas. So they've got it narrowed down. And that's what Adam, Scott, and Dave Anderson and myself are doing. We have a little bit of help from the dozer. Hope we can get that yellow container, guys. That'd be so cool. What's up everybody? I'm at the Crater Diamond State Park. I'm gonna dig a deep hole, get the gravel out, and get some diamonds. Last time I was down here, I dug a hole and I removed 18 buckets and I got zero diamonds. But I found some gravel over here that's got some really crunchy material, a lot more smaller rocks. So that's what I'm gonna go for and hopefully it'll pay out. And if you'd like to see more videos of me digging holes out here at the Crater Diamonds, digging for real diamonds, be sure and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I can't thank you all for the support. Let's get down here and start digging. This is where I'm at on my hole. Been digging all morning. I'm making this one extra wide. I'm finding gravel all around this. And I'm pretty much at the gravel. In some spots, it was only two and a half feet down. The other gravel I'm gonna try to get is about three foot down. And that's over here. But we are almost at the gravel. The first layer. The second layer is a lot more compact and crunchy. And that's what I really want to get. All right, time to probe and find out exactly how much further I have to go before I reach the first layer of gravel. Oh, right there, I just heard a crunch. Right there. Oh, I can't even go through it. more over this side let's come over here yep and what that is it's all gravel oh that's a crunch That's the stuff we want. 
about another two feet over here. Whew. Better get the digging. We're not gonna make it. Huh. I've been digging away. I found this piece of wood, like a big log. Maybe somebody's slat board that they threw in here to help fill in the hole. And it looks like beside it we have another can, but this isn't a Coke can. Looks like we've had some uh, beer drinkers out here. Drink a little cold beer, dig for some diamonds. And just so you all know, that is illegal out here. You're not supposed to bring alcohol into the state park or drugs. So let that be a reminder. Yeah, it's not good to bring out here. But somebody was out here drinking some cold beer in the 90s. And we all know who that regular was. I won't say any names. But if you're a regular, you know who's drinking the beer out here. Okay, I'm about, oh, I would say three and a half feet down. Time to probe and see where that gravel's at. Oh, about a foot down and I felt something. Oh, right there. Yep. Come over here. Right there's some good stuff. I can't even go through this stuff, guys. And that beer can was awesome to find. That gave me motivation. When we find cans and certain cans, it's not just a Coke can, but when you find a certain Coke can or a, a beer can, there's only really one person out here drinking beer. And that man alone found over a thousand diamonds one year. Getting drunk and finding diamonds must be the way to do it. No, I don't recommend that at all. There's gravel all around this spot. Oh. Kind of disappeared right there. Let me come towards the camera. Ooh, that's even crunchier. Wow, there's a lot of gravel that way. There's a lot this way. This way it kind of thins out. There could be gravel, but it's about another two, three foot down maybe. Because this gravel is very wavy. Alright. Looks like we have about a foot and a half to go. And I'll be at the layer that I've been working so hard to get to. Sweet. All right, well, y'all know what time it is. It's definitely time for a safety meeting. Uh, hey, Matt. Hey. How you doing? Fine, how are you? Trying to slope it like you want it. I don't think I'm four feet yet, Emma. About Jason, I've already went over this with you. It doesn't matter if it's a foot. It's got to be sloped. I've already told you that. Oh, I was just going by what I see. Everybody else out here doing. If everybody else is feeding, does that mean you can speed? In Dallas, Fort Worth, you better. You're going to get ran over. Out here. You're going to get ran over if you don't. Out. Once it's four feet. No, Jason, okay. I've already went over that with you. Every foot you dig down, you got to dig a foot and a half out. I've already told you that. Okay. So you come out with some more. What about out to here? How deep? How far do you want to go? So I'm here. This is the gravel. Probably about a foot down. Get a few buckets. See here. I'm one of my three foot. One, two, three. So I need to go what? No, I'm not good at math. I suck at math. That's okay. the problem. <laughs> All right. How deep you planning on going? Mm -hmm. Four feet. Okay. What's Five after feet. four? Uh, two. Okay. What's four plus two? Four plus two is what? Oh, six. Okay. From the center of that hole in all directions, it needs to be six foot. Six foot. Okay. Which means all the way across the hole should be 12 foot. Okay. Oh. So basically, it's impossible. <laughs> what do you mean? Some, what, what's that? What's in that bottle right there? Oh, it's a to tonic. It's a tonic water. Alcoholic? No, no, it's just a water, tonic water, just for cramps, couple of cramps. No, I don't drink alcohol. Okay, Jason, you're you're iffy. You look like you're trying on that side. I'll come over you're here. You're trying a little bit on that side, but these two sides here. No good. It's iffy. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I mean, I'll make it right, sir. I'm going to tell you one more time how you dig a proper hole. Find out how deep you want to dig, do your measurements, and start on the outside and dig and work your way in. 
Don't start from the middle and work the same way out. Go out and work your way in. That way you got the slope going. The only reason I'm not kicking you out today is it looks like you're trying. I'm trying hard. And it's okay, hot. but here's the deal. You can try a lot better than that. I need to bring a tape measure. <laughs> oh, exactly. I know this is about five and a now, half Now, Jason, feet. look here. I'm not going to go down to the inch, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go down to the inch. You understand? You can see for yourself. You understand? But, yeah. Give me something to work with. Yes, sir. Okay. This is a little bit. It okay. could be better, but okay. it's something. Okay. But from here on out, I expect the hole to be better than this. Yes, sir. I'll look, look, look out and knock the bottle over. Oh, okay. okay? I'm not going to go to the end. Okay. okay. All right. You do remember you got to fill your hole all the way to the top of the dirt, right? Yes, sir. You didn't forget that, did you? No. All right. Have all right. a good day. Alrighty, sir. You too, sir. Thank you. I made it to the gravel. And that's some good stuff. Nice and yellow. Extra crunchy. There's a baby deer sitting right over here. It's right there. See it? Right there in the middle of the frame. Newborn. You better leave him alone. I am doing everything I can to just get at least 12 buckets out of this hole. It's some really compact gravel. This is the good stuff. This is the yellow crunch. Down the hole, I've got about nine buckets out, or eight, and this gravel is amazing. Look at all that gravel. All this is crunchy, and it's just not lighting up at all. All right, Jesse took over. <laughs> it's hot out here. Once again, I'm cramping up real bad. Uh, Jesse came in to help me. I told her she could have a bucket of this material. All right, that's it. Once again, I'm the last one walking out of the field. I dug a deep hole. I got 16 buckets, I believe, out of that hole. Next step is to get back out here and get the buckets washed, get all the material washed, broken down through my classifiers, and get our diamonds. Yeah. I pulled some jasper out. We're gonna see if it's gonna bleach out. No. So far it's not bleaching. That's a good indicator. You definitely don't want your jaspers to bleach when they dry, meaning turn white. You're gonna, you're gonna want to like, uh, Ready, Lisa? Uh, massage it a little bit. Bucket number one. Uh, I cannot believe how much gravel is down there. Look at all that. We're gonna see some diamonds for sure. Last hole, we removed 18 buckets and got zero diamonds. And we're about three feet from that hole. And the gravel layer completely changed to this. I'm already seeing agate, conglomerate, and the first bucket. Look at this agate. Beautiful piece of agate. Got a little warm. But I found a beautiful piece of agate down in the hole. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Got big chunks of quartz showing up. That's always good. Man, I may want to test that. It could be a big, ugly diamond. Yeah, guys, we're seeing all kinds of jasper, red jasper. I did it. I found the good stuff this time. That's the first bucket. Wow.
Right, this is a conglomerate. Here it is. Here's a piece of conglomerate. Got some red jasper. So that's good. Conglomerate with red jasper. Oh man. Look at these little rocks. Man, that's a good indicator for big diamonds when you have all these little rocks that aren't going through your number four top screen. That's where the four carats are at, the five carats. Here's one of the buckets, top classifier. And I am finding amazing indicators on the top screen. Check those out. This gravel is amazing. I will be seeing diamonds. No doubt about it. Check those out. Ooh, what's that? Dang, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Man. Looks like a diamond. I have to test that one. Here's all my concentrate material so far. Out of three buckets, amazing gravel. And of course, the bigger rocks are not bleaching out. We got one bleaching. That's pretty good. One out of all of these. None of these are bleached. All right, all the buckets are washed. Got one more. Jesse's got one more to go from the east drain. Let's take a look at my concentrated material from the hole. Working on getting it into my bucket so I can wheel it out the door, get back to Texas and get centers made, get our diamonds. We are running out of time on this trip. Time to pack it up and head back to Texas. And right here I have conglomerate that I pulled out. This one is covered in just red jasper. This is so much heavier than this one and it's almost twice the size. And there's no red jasper. That's how much heavier this red jasper is. This material isn't bleaching out, which is really good. Some agate. And a really beautiful piece that I found I didn't even see it in my buckets. That's why I'm saving all of my larger rocks so I can get my agate and plus all my smaller rocks. I'll classify this. This is off my top screen. This is where I'll be getting my four carats and up. Definitely want to make centers with that. It's hard to even see those big diamonds with all that larger gravel. All right, we found some amazing gravel in the hole. It's time to head back to Texas, make centers, and get the diamonds. Now there's all types of ways to do this. The most important thing is to bounce it. That's getting all the heavy minerals to the bottom like diamonds. Now, some people do it like this and then they grab it and turn it and then they do it again. 
okay? And then they bounce it. And they repeat that step. You pile it up, and you grab and you turn it. And then you bounce it. And when you do that, the most important thing is to give it a final bounce. It's ready to flip, throw, however you want to call it. Let's take a look at some other ways you can do this. You bounce it, and you shake it, and then you bounce it, and spin the gemstone concentrator. And you pile it up, and you bounce it, and you spin it. Pile it up, bounce it, and spin it. Pile it up, bounce it, and spin it. Pile it up, bounce it, and spin it. And once again, the most important thing is to give it a good bounce at the end, liquefied, so everything goes to the bottom. Let's take a look at another way you can make centers. You bounce it, get everything to the bottom, and you just kind of, it's really hard to see, I'm not rocking it like this, okay? All I'm doing is shaking it. Bounce it and shake it. Now I like to spin it and shake it and then bounce it. Shake it, shake it, bounce it. Shake it, shake it, bounce it. That's getting everything to the center. Shake it, shake it, bounce it. And remember, I want to give it a good bounce no matter which way you do it. And the most important step is bouncing it liquefied so all the heavy minerals will work their way to the bottom. All right, so we've worked all the heavy minerals to the bottom using water. Now we just flip it over and our heavy minerals like diamonds will be on top. quartz possibly right there but right here is my center it's a little bit off centered I didn't do that final the way I was just shaking it I didn't do that enough if you're gonna do it the shaking myth method you have to do it quite a bit All right, just made the next four flips and just got a small diamond. I'm gonna test it anyways, but I can tell it's a diamond. It's a small one, a three point, four point. Yeah, who knows, it could be a seven or an eight point. But it's small. I'm seeing tons of spinel. You can see how these centers are pretty nicely in the center of my whole pie and this one's off to the side that's not good because my diamond could be out here on the edge you always want to try to make sure your gemstone concentrator is not leaning in the water if it's leaning your center is going to move over here off centered and that's what you don't want all right turns out those were diamonds there's the proof cards that are proving it's a real diamond and here they are on the big screen really nice all right when you find your first diamond you can come in here and get your picture okay well that's going to wrap it up here at the crater diamond state park i can't thank you all enough for watching thank you all so much for the support until next time take care everybody This is how you got your 238 diamond? That's how I did it. We just pulled out another bucket out of a hole. And I believe that's going to be the end of the buckets. And we've got a beautiful diamond on the center. Dead center. Here, buddy. What do you think of that diamond? I think it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Crazy. All right, let's get down here and check it out. Flip number three. And we could have more.